Acknowledgement of Country The Department of Transport and Main Roads acknowledges the traditional owners and custodians of this land and waterways. We also acknowledge their ancestors and elders, both past and present. The Department of Transport and Main Roads is committed to reconciliation amongst all Australians. Message from Director-General As the Department of Transport and Main Roads, TMR, Director-General and Champion for People with Disability, I am pleased to present the TMR Accessibility and Inclusion Strategy, AIS. The AIS will support TMR in achieving our vision to create a single integrated transport network accessible to everyone. Mobility is critical to everyone, and accessible and inclusive transport is a vital component of reducing the social exclusion of vulnerable people, especially those with disabilities. TMR has a responsibility to the community to provide a transport network that is accessible and inclusive of everyone as we connect people to work, places, goods and services across Queensland every day. TMR is committed to providing an inclusive public transport system to everyone. Over the years, we have implemented a number of initiatives to increase the accessibility of our transport network. While we have made improvements to accessible transport services, there are many people in Queensland who still find it difficult or impossible to travel by bus, train or ferry. TMR has engaged with a broad range of customers, staff and partners across Queensland to co-design the accessibility and inclusion strategy. The strategy is about creating a transport network that is convenient to use, easy to access and welcoming of everyone. I am committed to making TMR not only a world leader in the provision of accessible and inclusive transport, but also an accessible and inclusive employer of choice. As an organisation, TMR is dedicated to replicating the diversity of our customer base within our workforce by ensuring that our workplaces and work practices are accessible and inclusive for our people now and in the future. I encourage you all to become an accessibility advocate and be the voice for change. Signed, Neil Scales, OBE, Director General, Department of Transport and Main Roads. Message from the Minister The Queensland Government is committed to supporting people with disability to maximise their potential and participation as equal citizens in Queensland transport is a basic human right – and Queenslanders have the right to an accessible and inclusive transport network. For many, transport is the connector that enables them to engage both socially and culturally, access education and employment opportunities, as well as vital health services. At some point in your life, you may have felt frustrated accessing transport products and services while carrying, shopping, pushing a pram or travelling with small children. This is a daily challenge for many in our community and visitors to our beautiful state. And my government is committed to improving Queensland's transport products, services, information and infrastructure for all. We will only achieve this by listening to and considering the diverse needs of all customers – as we continue to deliver and grow the Queensland Transport Network. The Queensland Government is committed to listening and responding to the needs of Queenslanders when it comes to improving our products, goods and services. I am proud of the co-design methodology used to develop the Transport and Main Roads Accessibility and Inclusion Strategy. I would like to thank all our customers, staff and partners who gave their valuable time and insights from their unique perspectives. 
The Queensland Government is committed to continue engaging to work with our customers, people and partners to become a world leader in the provision of accessible and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure. Creating a welcoming and enjoyable travel experience in and around Queensland for everyone. Signed, the Honourable Mark Bailey, MP, Minister for Transport and Main Roads. One, introduction. The Accessible Inclusion Strategy, AIS, will ensure that TMR's approach to accessibility and inclusion aligns with the Queensland Government's Advancing Queensland's priorities. Building an accessible and inclusive transport system is a key initiative through which TMR is supporting Queensland Government's Advancing Queensland priorities, including Be a Responsive Government, an accessible and inclusive transport system will give everyone the opportunity to participate in their communities. Create jobs in a strong economy. Diverse and inclusive workplaces will attract talent and gives everyone the opportunity to bring their strengths to work. Give all children a great start. Improved access to education, recreation and health care will have significant benefits for all children. Keep Queenslanders healthy. Active modes of transport are an integral part of the transport system and access to recreational services improves physical and mental health for all. Keep communities safe. An inclusive transport system is safe and welcoming, enabling everyone, including youth, to be involved in education and communities. Protect the Great Barrier Reef. Develop solutions in co-design with partners while setting clear expectations in terms of the standards that need to be met to support sustainability and preservation. As a transport network provider and employer, TMR is obligated to comply with all disability, anti-discrimination and human rights legislation. As a customer-centric organisation, TMR is committed to better understanding the expectations and needs of our customers, our people and our partners. 1.1. Human Rights Obligations The United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights is the common understanding of the rights and freedom of all members of the human family. It guides legislation and forms social expectation for Australia and Queensland. Freedom of movement, access to health care and the right to participate in the cultural life of the community depend on a transport system that is accessible to everyone and doesn't exclude anyone. 1.2. Government Requirements Legislation regulates the department by making it unlawful to discriminate against a person because of protected attributes, including age, disability, race and sex. This is an extract of what TMR is obligated by law to comply with. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, UNCRPD. Human Rights Act 2019, Queensland. Anti-Discrimination Act 1991, Queensland. Disability Discrimination Act, Commonwealth. Disability Services Act 2006, Queensland. The Fair Work Act 2009, Commonwealth. Age Discrimination Act 2004, Commonwealth. In addition, Policy, strategy and planning documents provide guidance on how TMR can meet legal obligations, e.g. disability standards, e.g. Disability Standards for Accessible Public Transport, 2002, Commonwealth, National Disability Strategy, 2010-2020, NDS, All Abilities, Queensland, Opportunities for All, State Disability Action Plan 2017-2020 to 2020. 
Draft Queensland Transport Strategy, our 30-year plan for transport in Queensland. TMR Disability Service Plan 2017-2020. to TMR Disability Action Plan 2018-2022. to 1.3. Stakeholder Expectations. 1.3.1. Customers. Our customers have told us accessibility and inclusion is important to them and that they expect the following from us. Service quality and safety. Ease of information and effective interfaces. Inclusive service supported by well-trained staff. Awareness of difference and needs. Creative design in infrastructure and services. The stakeholders who operate the network and deliver services to customers are committed to accessibility and inclusion. However, they need the following support to deliver on this commitment. 1.3.2 Our People Support through investment opportunities and recognition. Shared responsibility for inclusion. Individualised solutions for an accessible and diversity-confident workplace. Flexibility and strengths-based tasks and roles. Removal of barriers in the recruitment process. 1.3.3 Partners Collaboration and shared accountability for accessibility. Funding for accessibility priorities beyond funding cycles. Flexible procurement policies that prioritise accessibility. Clarity on universal design and consistency across contractors. 1.4. Fast Facts Accessible and inclusive transport allows everyone to participate in our community through access to employment, health, education, recreation and culture. This strategy will guide us in building an accessible and inclusive transport system. The TMR vision is to create a single integrated transport network accessible to everyone with the purpose of bringing Queensland closer together. All Queenslanders, irrespective of where they live and work, can expect to have appropriate transport choices and fair access to the transport system. However, in Queensland, significant barriers to transport use remain and not everyone currently has the same opportunities in using the transport system. It is especially the vulnerable of our society who need to be considered. 18% of Queenslanders have a disability and 261,000 Queenslanders of all ages have a profound disability. 22.9% of people with a disability need assistance with mobility. You are twice as likely to be unemployed if you have a disability. Australia Bureau of Statistics Survey of Disability, Ageing and Carers, 2015. People are living longer and, with age, the requirement for assistance and the probability of impairment increases. In 2017... 15% of Australians were aged 65 or over. It is estimated that by 2057, 22% of the population will be aged 65 or over. At 65, Australians can expect to live approximately half of their remaining years with some level of disability. Australian Institute of Health and Welfare, 2015. There are approximately 220,000 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Queensland, estimated at 4.6% of the total population. Australia Bureau of Statistics Census, 2016. Some who live in very remote areas of Queensland. 36% of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people have some form of disability. Australian Institute of Health and Welfare, 2015. Our society is becoming more culturally diverse. 12% of Queenslanders speak a language other than English at home. Australia Bureau of Statistics Census 2016 Queensland is home to people from more than 220 countries. 
220 languages spoken, 100 religious beliefs. Australia Bureau of Statistics Census 2011. In 2018 19, international visitors to Queensland increased to 2.8 million, with 8.5 million visitors to Australia. Tourism and Events Queensland 2019. International Tourism Snapshot Year Ending September 2019. In 2018-19, Queensland domestic visitors reached 25.3 million. Tourism and Events Queensland 2019. Total International and Domestic Fact Sheet Year Ending September 2019. Not everyone can afford transport. It is estimated that 28.3% of Queensland's working population earns less than $499 a week. Australia Bureau of Statistics Census 2016 The above statistics emphasises the importance of a whole-of-department AIS. Accessible and inclusive transport is critical to breaking down barriers to accessing employment, health, education, recreations, community and culture. We are proud to have the role of connecting people, places, goods and services safely, efficiently and effectively across Queensland. It is equally important that as a department we drive diversity and inclusion in our recruitment, career pathways and our workplaces. Making sure our business practices and workplaces enable everyone, including vulnerable or marginalised people, to be included. Queensland Public Sector Diversity Targets 50% of women in all senior officer, senior executive service and above, including Section 122. 3% of staff, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander. 8% people with disability. 10% to include employees from non-English speaking backgrounds. Department of Transport and Main Roads By 2022, TMR aimed to have the following workforce representation. 38% of women in all senior officer slash senior executive service roles. 3% of employees to include Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. 6.5% people with disability slash disabilities. 9.5% to include employees from non-English speaking backgrounds. 1.5. Common terms used throughout this document. Department of Transport and Main Roads, TMR. The Department of Transport and Main Roads moves and connects people, places, goods and services safely, efficiently and effectively across Queensland. We plan, manage and deliver Queensland's integrated transport environment to achieve sustainable transport solutions for road, rail, air and sea. Integrated Transport Network Integration of public and private sector transport services and all modes of transport, including active modes such as cycling and walking. Mobility as a Service M-A-A-S. Mobility as a service describes a shift away from personally owned modes of transportation towards mobility solutions consumed as a service. M-A-A-S combines public and private transportation services. It is based on personalised journey planning through an application. Co-design. Co-design is a design methodology slash process that actively involves customers and stakeholders in the design process. Designing together ensures that the solutions implemented appropriately consider customer and stakeholders' respective needs. Universal Design Universal Design is a framework for the design of living and working spaces and products 
benefiting the widest possible range of people in the widest range of situations without special or separate design. Life Stage Life stage refers to the phases that people pass through over the course of their lives. Typical life stages include infancy, childhood, adolescence, adulthood and old age. Project Life Cycle Project Life Cycle is the sequence of stages that a project goes through from beginning to end. Functional Designed to meet the needs of the end user and achieves its intended purpose. Network This refers to all transport products, services, information and infrastructure across Queensland. Accessible Design Designing for equal usability for all with regard to mobility, facilities, devices and services and incorporating disability access standards. Inclusive Design Designing services, information, products and infrastructure for the needs of the widest possible audience. User-Centred Design Placing users' perspectives and needs at the centre of the design process. Barrier-free design. Constructing or retrofitting infrastructure and vehicles to eliminate barriers and obstacles that would otherwise restrict the range of users and purposes for which the space can be used. Transgenerational design. Improving quality of life for people of all ages and levels of mobility, both now and into the future. Assistive technology. Engineering that supports improved access for people with disability to complete tasks by increasing, maintaining or improving the functional capabilities and independence to facilitate accessibility and participation. 1.6. Definitions. For TMR as a network provider and employer, accessibility and inclusion focuses on connected, easy experiences and equality of opportunity. The following definitions for accessibility and inclusion were developed collaboratively, developed through consultation with a diverse group of customers, employees, government and private delivery partners across Queensland. Accessibility Accessibility means being able to use the full range of services and products. It means having services that are functional and designed to allow access for all. It results in a connected and easy experience. Inclusion Inclusion is about everyone feeling confident and safe when accessing services and facilities. It means being included and having equality of opportunity. 1.7. Guiding Principles Universal design principles are the guiding principles to achieve our vision. Universal Design Principles The purpose of the principles is to guide the design of environments, products and communications. Principle 1. Equitable Use Principle 2. Flexibility in Use Principle 3. Simple and intuitive use. Principle 4. Perceptible information. Principle 5. Tolerance for error. Principle 6. Low physical effort. Principle 7. Size and space for approach and use. Key benefits of universal design. It's easier and more cost effective to plan from the start than retrofit. Reputation of organisations applying universal design is improved. Accessibility to everyone maximises the number of people who use services, products and infrastructure. Creates welcoming environments and decreases stress levels. Co-design Co-design is a design methodology that actively involves customers and stakeholders in the design process. 
Designing together ensures that the designs implemented appropriately consider customer and stakeholders' respective needs. Critically, co-design is a process to achieve universal design. 1.8 We are making progress towards providing accessible and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure. TMR has already undertaken significant work to deliver an accessible and inclusive experience for all. Many current initiatives seek to address different facets of accessibility and inclusion, including the Queensland Transport Strategy, Queensland Walking Strategy, co-design in infrastructure and service development, cultural awareness training and accessibility stage gates for project managers. However, we recognise that more is needed to ensure that transport products, services, information and infrastructure in Queensland are fully accessible for all. Work to date A snapshot of the recent initiatives TMR has already undertaken are outlined below, highlighting our dedication to improving the accessibility of Queensland's transport network. Implementing all 24 Ford Commission of Inquiry New Generation Rolling Stock Train Recommendations across TMR and Co-Design of Rolling Stock. Inclusive Mapping Pilot Project Trialed Emerging Technologies Biometrics to Deliver Enhanced Transport Network Information for People with Mobility Challenges Wheelchair-slash-other device users injured and people pushing prams. Human Resource Career Pathways Programme in Action Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island Traineeship Programme Executive Champions for Gender Equity, Inclusion and Diversity and People with Disability TMR hosted 10 people with varying levels of disability for 2019 Accessibility Day. TransLink Disability Action Plan 2018-2022 released with accessible versions online. Indigenous Driver Licensing Program aims to reduce unlicensed driving in remote and Indigenous communities in far north Queensland including Cape York, the Gulf and Torres Strait Islands. Work Ahead TMR is working towards delivering our vision of creating a single integrated transport network accessible to everyone by leading the National Accessible Transport Task Force, NATT, to review and modernise the Disability Standards for Accessible Public Transport, DSAPT, 2002, Commonwealth. Developing the TMR Accessibility and Inclusion L Action Plan, the Action Plan, to focus on key accessibility projects, initiating change, embedding guiding principles, and making accessibility and inclusion business as usual across Queensland's transport network. The Action Plan will document TMR's accessibility and inclusion journey through programs of work to be implemented over the next one to three years, three to five years, five to ten years.
2. Strategy TMR will be an accessibility and inclusion leader. Our aspiration Accessible and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure are critical to allow everyone to participate in our community and access employment, health, education, recreation and culture. TMR will be a leader in the provision of dignified, accessible and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure. TMR will work collaboratively with our delivery partners, service providers and all levels of government to ensure alignment with government objectives, broader human rights and legislative obligations. For our customers. They are able to access the transport products, services, information and infrastructure they need. They have a consistent and user-friendly experience, regardless of whether the service is delivered by TMR or a delivery partner. For our employees. They experience an accessible and inclusive workplace. They are inclusive when interacting and communicating with customers, colleagues and delivery partners. They reflect and represent the communities in which we operate. For our partners. They are inclusive when interacting and communicating with customers, our people and Queensland residents and visitors. They provide accessible and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure. 2.1 TMR commits to prioritising accessibility and inclusion needs. Leading Queensland in the provision of accessible and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure requires us to define our focus for accessibility and inclusion. We see the greatest opportunity to achieve our ambition by focusing on three stakeholder groups within Queensland. 2.1.1 Our Customers Transport Services, Products, Information and Infrastructure in Queensland TMR acknowledges it must provide customers with safe, reliable, convenient and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure that takes their accessibility needs into account. For example, disabilities and medical conditions, age and life stage, language and culture, gender and sexual orientation, socioeconomic, location. TMR is committed to providing accessible and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure across Queensland. 2.1.2 Our People Accessible and Inclusive TMR Workplaces and Work Practices TMR acknowledges it must provide our people with a meaningful employment experience supported by an adaptable employer who understands their needs and works to build an accessible and inclusive workplace and work practices. TMR is committed to creating and maintaining an accessible and inclusive workplace and work practices for current and future employees. 2.1.3 Our Partners Co-design and collaboration with partners. TMR acknowledges it must provide our partners, including strategic partners, service partners, delivery partners, academia and industry, with clarity around accessibility and inclusion expectations and support from TMR to deliver the right solutions. TMR is committed to providing clear guidance to all partners and will communicate the priorities and long-term goals with regards to accessibility and inclusion. 2.2 TMR will embed accessibility and inclusion in all that we do. 2.2.1 
TMR Principles of Accessibility and Inclusion 1. Design with me. Nothing about us without us. We will ask for input early. Where partners are required to deliver solutions with us, we will involve them in co-design and take their perspective into account. 2. Make me feel welcome and independent. Customers who use our services, information, products and infrastructure should feel confident that we are meeting their needs. Our people should see TMR as a safe and inclusive place where they can bring their whole selves to work. Partners should see TMR as being open to suggestions from everyone. 3. Listen and improve. We will constantly look to improve the experience for our customers, our people and the partners who work with our organisation. We will do this by asking for feedback and taking action where we are falling short of the aspiration we have set for ourselves. 4. Inclusion is our culture. We are already on a journey of providing greater accessibility and being more inclusive. We will continue to provide our people with the environment and tools they need. Our values will be shared with our partners so they understand our expectations. 2.3 TMR will develop the critical capabilities needed to deliver accessible transport services information, products and infrastructure. 2.3.1 Design Inclusive and collaborative design Comply with our obligations under disability and human rights legislation. Apply universal design principles and guidelines. 2.3.2 Business practices Inclusive business practices in the project lifecycle. Inclusive processes to develop and provide services and products. Co-design with customers and partners. Guidelines for partners. Embed inclusion in procurement principles. Accessibility and inclusion in recruitment, task management and employee evaluation. Design and enable accessibility and inclusion at all stages of the employee journey for example, employment entry points and career development. Provide infrastructure to support our people in any location. 2.3.3 Customer Information and Tools Personalised Data and Information Delivery, Collection and Analysis Provide accessible ways for customers to access information and assistance. Use customer data and insights to understand customer experience and needs and deliver dignified and supportive experiences. 2.3.4 Reporting and Data Accessibility and Inclusion Measures, Reporting and Auditing Clear Accessibility and Inclusion Metrics Data Management and Reporting Capability to Evaluate Progress Build accessibility and inclusion measures into the project lifecycle. Clearly define accessibility and inclusion metrics in key reporting products, for example, business plans, employee agreements. 2.3.5 Culture Culture fostering accessibility and inclusion Train our people to build their skills in meeting customer and employee accessibility and inclusion needs. Build confidence to engage customers and our people in co-design. Share information on what we are doing in accessibility and inclusion. Educate and build awareness of obligations under the law. Advocate across government, partners and community. 2.3.6 Inclusive Leadership Leadership Team with an Inclusive Mindset Change led by leaders who drive the cultural shift towards accessibility and inclusion 
commit to accessibility and inclusion as an objective that aligns with personal value. Demonstrate open-mindedness towards different ideas. 2.4. TMR will be a leader in the provision of dignified, accessible and inclusive transport products, services, information and infrastructure. 2.4.1. Our customers. Design with me. TMR engages with customers early to co-design accessible and inclusive products, services, information and infrastructure. TMR applies universal design principles and guidelines. Make me feel welcome and independent. TMR's transport products are flexible, accessible and inclusive of customers' needs. TMR's customers are treated with respect and are offered support at key moments that matter. Listen and improve. TMR customer feedback is collected and analysed to better respond to expectations and needs. TMR transport products, services, information and infrastructure will be improved using customer feedback. Inclusion is our culture. TMR thinks beyond compliance to create quality experiences. 2.4.2 Our employees Design with me TMR provides a safe, supportive, flexible and inclusive environment that allows every employee to meaningfully contribute. TMR business practices reflect our accessible and inclusive culture. Make me feel welcome and independent. TMR employees are aware and value the accessibility and inclusion of our culture. TMR employees are trained and empowered to provide excellent service and quality customer experiences. Listen and improve. TMR employee feedback is collected and analysed to become an accessible and inclusive employer. TMR employees share accessibility and inclusion stories to raise awareness and improve our services. Inclusion is our culture. TMR has an accessible and inclusive culture and is an employer of choice. 2.4.3 our partners. Design with me. TMR engages with our partners to co-design accessible and inclusive products, services, information and infrastructure delivery guidelines slash standards to provide a consistent statewide customer experience. TMR's partners understand and actively support the department in providing a dignified and accessible network. Make me feel welcome and independent. TMR works with and supports delivery partners in regional, rural and remote areas to overcome their unique challenges and take advantage of opportunities. Listen and improve. TMR collaboratively works with delivery partners to respond to customer and stakeholder feedback. TMR delivery partners have the opportunity to create an accessible and inclusive Queensland. Inclusion is our culture. TMR models inclusive actions and behaviours for our partners. Roadmap 3.1. Initiate change. Prioritise the areas of greatest customer and employee need and establish the foundation for change. 3.1.1. For our customers. Identify immediate improvement opportunities. Implement the next generation rolling stock, NGR, train commission of inquiry recommendations. Create a tailored universal design manual. 
define our measures of success and baseline current accessibility and inclusion rate, confirm priorities within product and service portfolio. 3.1.2 For our employees Conduct cultural assessment to baseline and identify priority areas for cultural development. Empower executive accessibility and inclusion champions and support staff to drive divisional and organisation-wide change. 3.1.3 For our partners Identify opportunities to engage partners in co-design of our products and services. Signal intent to move to universal design. 3.2. Embed our guiding principles. Develop the cultural attitudes and capabilities needed to make TMR an inclusive workplace and begin transformation of our products and services. 3.2.1. For our customers. Adopt universal design principles. Engage customers in co-design. Develop targeted action plans to deliver which describe the initiatives, governance and funding to create a single integrated transport network accessible to everyone. 3.2.2. For our employees. Initiate an organisation-wide culture change program to make TMR a more accessible and inclusive workplace. Train staff in accessibility and inclusion, developing required capabilities in design, service, data and reporting. 3.2.3 For our partners. Engage partners in co-design. Provide guidelines for universal design. 3.3. Grow our reach throughout Queensland. Establish TMR as an accessibility and inclusion leader within the transport sector and continue transformation of our products and services. 3.3.1. For our customers. Staged rollout of new and improved products and services. Continue refinement of our strategy and action plans to ensure the expectations are delivered and understood by our customers. 3.3.2 For our employees. Continue to evolve TMR as an accessible and inclusive workplace. Continue refinement of our strategy for our people to understand expectations with regards to inclusion. 3.3.3 For our partners. Continue to guide partners on accessibility and inclusion by refining our strategy and action plans. 3.3.4 Customer Insights Report 4.1.1 Our Customers Engage with me early and don't try to retrofit. Give me easy access to information and transport. I need a person to talk to, especially when I'm struggling. Don't treat me differently. I want to feel safe at all times of the day and on all modes of transport. 4.1.2 Our employees Make me feel appreciated as a person and as an employee. Support me by investing in me and providing opportunities. Communicate with me respectfully and openly. Be flexible. Let's adapt the workplace role and schedule to both our needs. 4.1.3 Our Partners Communicate what your requirements and standards are. Everyone is working in isolation. We would like more collaboration and shared accountability. Why are we looking at the short term? It takes a long time to execute. Make it clear what your priorities are. 
That concludes the Accessibility and Inclusion Strategy made on behalf of the Department of Transport and Main Roads, Queensland, and narrated by Kay Stevenson in June 2020.